welcome back, everyone. So when it comes to warm weather gatherings, there's nothing quite like a picnic. And our next guest says a simple way to really elevate your picnic is by giving it a theme. Here with ideas for throwing fabulously themed picnics is wedding and event planner Shaylin Angus, AKA Shay. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. We are very excited. But let's start with the basic. When it comes to throwing a picnic, what are sort of the top tips you should consider before starting? Yeah, well, I think there's no rules that apply to picnics, which is Love. so great to know. However, we have essentials we need to cover. So we need somewhere for everyone to sit, something for them to sip on, mm -hmm. to snack on, and definitely want to set the mood with whatever the theme or aesthetic is that we've chosen. Oh, okay, I so you have that. two picnics picnic setups for us mm -hmm. today, and we're gonna start with this kind of retro situation going on. Yeah. Tell us about the retro nostalgia theme. Well, I think that picnics are actually really nostalgic in their nature, right? They evoke kind of past memories and good times with family. But when I think of nostalgia, I immediately go retro. And that's what we've done here today. And I think the only way that we can really start a retro picnic is with retro sunglasses. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I think we need to get these on. Oh, I think these go with your outfit. Okay. I agree. And you could do these oh with God. white, big circle glasses too. Oh my God. So good. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I Continue. feel like for any picnic, the setup is kind of key. It's providing the foundation for what's totally. gonna happen. So what did you do? Your glasses are on top. I can't <laughs> see what's out there. This is perfect. So how did you prepare this foundation? It's gorgeous. Thank you so much. Well, one tip that I love to do is to swap the picnic blanket with a picnic carpet. This allows you a little bit more of kind of a flatter surface to set your oh, experience yeah. on, more room. Yeah. And then doing a coffee table height table will allow your guests to still sit cozy on some pillows, but still be able to see the gorgeous setup you've done, enjoy their snacks and drinks. I love Speaking that. Speaking of drinks, yeah. I, I can see that there are ice cubes in the picture. Oh yeah. Um, and so this is, it helps with presentation because are they, are those flowers? These are flowers inside the ice cubes. Oh my god! And this is such a simple way to take something so rudimentary and make it a part of your decor. So you can use literally any edible flower that you can find. We have marigolds and pansies in here. Freeze them in your ice molds at home, pop them in your cocktail glass, and you got another That's cute little so element. That's so pretty! Oh my god, yeah. I love it. You know what else I can't take my eye off? There are all of these, there, there are several floral moments happening right there. Look at this one with the picnic. It's gorgeous. The picnic basket with the floral oh, moment. Tell me about yeah. this. Yeah, well, I don't think that you have to really have formal floral arrangements. Of course, these are gorgeous. Yeah. But you can grab any big kind of springtime blooms, throw them in a basket like the one here, or any woven basket, or even a market bag. Yeah. Add it to your setup, and you've just added one more touch to your picnic. It's straight out of Jane Austen. It is. <laughs> Mr. Darcy. <laughs> we just need a Mr. Darcy. I can be your Mr. Darcy. Okay, no, never, never mind. Uh, let's talk about the elephant in the room. I know. Uh, this cake looks so beautiful, and I feel like it's an essential part of a, kick, uh, a picnic. Tell us about this one. Totally. Well, these nostalgia cakes are all the rage right now. We're seeing them at weddings, at picnics, at anniversary parties, birthday parties. But the best way to cut a cake at a picnic is actually not to cut it at all. We're gonna grab our wine glasses, ladies. No. This feels wrong. It feels so I, wrong, but it's so no, right. This Does cake is perfect. You want us to destroy this cake okay, with our glasses. Flip your okay. glasses over and you're gonna hold it by I the I can't do home. this. Okay. I know. It's Emma, like a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking about table manners. Exactly. Awesome. And we're going to get the edge of the cake. Okay, ah! ready? Yeah. In our glass. Go. And then you, you just got take a fork. your fork and go That's for it. That's actually incredible, right? That's incredible. I love That's this. That's so unique. So delicious. Okay. Oh my God, they do it! Okay, so oh. as we mentioned, you have two picnic setups for yes, us. Yes, we Let do. Let me just get out of the way of the cake. <laughs> to our second setup Thank you. after you. Yeah. And let us know what the theme is here. Well, what better way to spend a picnic than in Paris? <gasps> right? Loves it. Right, so we're doing a painting in Paris picnic party. <gasps> Say that okay. 10 times faster. <laughs> and this is a great activity for your guests to do. Okay. Grab a paintbrush, paint. ladies. Uh, and create a masterpiece while enjoying the outdoors. Paint the park, paint the flowers, whatever you want. 
Well, we paint, you're gonna tell us about these adorable mini baskets. Absolutely. Well, you don't want your guests to have to get up and go to a, a grazing board or anything while they're painting. Mm -hmm. So we've done these really cute individual picnic baskets with gorgeous kind of French inspired treats, croissants, macarons, a little tonic for everyone to drink. And it's a perfect little take home as well. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Yeah. What do, you, <laughs> what do you suggest we do for florals? Because we had so many great florals in our last setup. Yeah, right? absolutely. Well, when I think of Paris, I think floral markets, right? Big baskets and that sort of thing. Yeah. But what I also love doing is wrapped flowers. So grab your favorite florist's wrapped bouquets, wrap them in like craft paper, or this beautiful paper here, throw them right on the table. And then they're also take homes again for your guests. When I saw these, I just immediately wanted to take them all. I know, because they're so beautiful. Yeah. It really is such a simple little thing to do, yeah. but it does elevate it to something you want to take home. Totally. Hey, Lainey, how's your painting turning out? Do you, should we show? Yeah. Is let's it time do it. to show? Yeah, let's okay. do it. Okay. Oh my God. I made I an love apple. Yours. <laughs> I made a flower. I made a flower. Gorgeous. Wow, Jess, that's beautiful. <laughs> it's not yours. Uh, no, mine's rudimentary, but okay. <laughs> well, Shay, I think you may have saved the best for last. Mm -hmm. Tell us what's going on with this bar card over here. Oh. Yes, so this is the piece de resistance, as they say. This is a perfect way to have freshly poured cocktails at your picnic. This is a bar cart. What? Pouring fresh rosé <laughs> today. Oh my God. Oh. You can really tap anything so you I want. So I can do this? Thank yeah. you. Go ahead. Ooh. Oh, that looks so fun. Perfect, perfect. Oh my gosh. But you could do one. anything in this. You could do margaritas, you could do a beer, you could do red wine, white wine, whatever you want at your party. And it's mobile, it's right there for your picnic. This is incredible. Shay, this is so lovely. Thank you so much and cheers to you. Cheers. These amazing oh, ideas. <laughs> this is here, let me just get cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Yes. cheers to our Parisian picnic. Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.